All right. All right, let's play. Here, I'll, I'll throw at you, and then you throw back at me. But hurry up, because I'm freezing to death. We don't really have time for this. Hey, guys and gals. Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Minecraft Vex Super Hostile Isolation. We're picking up where we left off after the end of the last episode here in... Uh, we're in... Well, right now, we're in the geothermal plant. Just warming up. I was out... Um, Outside, I went back to the starting area, and I got super cold again. And now we're we're actually heating up pretty quickly. Two thirty. Oh gosh, okay, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna overheat. <laughs> so yeah, I went back to the starting area where we had originally spawned in, and I collected um, some more wood. I went back there for the wood because I had used up all of our wood trying to survive in the last episode, and there were a bunch of logs left behind. So I went and grabbed what I had left back there, and that was a total of 30 oak woods. And I grabbed a few oak planks as well. We're gonna need this oak wood to, uh, to, to burn um, when we're out exploring in the isolation glacier here. And we're also gonna need, obviously we're gonna need wood to make tools and, and other crafting um, recipes and so forth and so on. So I wanted to go back and, and grab that and not leave it behind. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything other than that, really. And that was, uh, I did that off camera so that we didn't have to do that together because that would have been kind of boring since we'd already been there one time. And I don't want to really backtrack in this series if we can avoid it. But yeah, let me know how much you guys actually want to see. Like, do you want to see everything? Like every, every minute? Like even backtracking? Or do you just want me to cut out some of that stuff, um, some of the chores? You know, there's a lot of chores that need to be done. Fortunately, Vex took care of the base for us here. This is Tally's old base. Uh, Tally was the person that was here before us, surviving on some kind of a... Uh, she was in some kind of a training mission or something down here. We're going to go read one of her books here. She left behind a bunch of diaries. Um, but this base was set up by Vex for us. I like that. We don't have to worry about this because it takes a long time to set up a base. We have everything. Enchanting table. We have all the storage boxes. We got bookshelves, anvils, brewing stands, beds, uh, etc., etc. But we don't have everything we need to survive, obviously. That's a lot of the fun of these series. In fact, we, we should probably get our food going. We have a farming area, but there's no, um... There's nothing growing in there right now. We, we do have a few organics. Let's go to the storage room right now. In fact, we have some organics. We've got one seeds and three spruce saplings. So yeah, not a lot, but it'll give us a starting point. In fact, we have uh, a few tools here to, you know what we're gonna do? Let's grab a clock. I'm gonna put a clock in the kitchen. So we're gonna make this place very homey. Where's my animal parts? Right here. Yeah, very homey. So let's make a, let's make a frame. And we're going to put a clock on the wall because that seems nice. Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> that there. Okay. <laughs> That's not how that works. And we're going to put the item frame uh, in the kitchen somewhere where we can see the time. Let's put it above the crafting table over here. There we go. Looks like, uh, well, it's daylight. Not that we can tell because we're inside a glacier. But if we do happen to go outside, we might get a little daylight. That's nice. Huh? All right, let's grab the hoe. Let's do some hoeing. So this is the farming area that was left by prior owners, people that lived here. Um, not really exactly sure who, but I think some of Tally's books will reveal that to us once we go and do that. But yeah, I didn't do any of this stuff because again, I wanted to do it with you guys. What is this? Oh, it's coarse dirt. It's uh, it takes it takes two hoes for it to uh, to till it. Check it out. Um, yeah, I wanted to do as much on camera as possible because this is kind of the fun. Doing this together and seeing how we do it, right? How we survive in a glacier. So we have one seeds. We'll put that down. Oh, it's a seedy place. It's a very seedy place here. Achievement made. Look at that. Um, now we have some carrots. Let's put some carrots down. And this will give us a renewable source of food. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slippery. Um, we have five left. Should we eat them or should we grow them? Let's grow them. We'll grow them over here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Got to break up that, uh, all the ice. It's warm enough in here so that this water will not freeze up again, but we do have to break it up at least the first time. Close all that. At least I think it's warm enough in here. I don't know. We're going to find out. But we have that geothermal plant down there warming the place up, so I'm assuming it's going to stay nice and cozy warm. 
But when we go out into the glacier, we have to think about staying warm, right? And in the last episode, I discovered that a furnace really warms you up quick. But um, I did waste a lot of my wood. I kind of... Uh, I made a tactical error and burned up all my wood, which is why I went back for the rest of it. But that's what happens when you're freezing to death and you're panicking and you're trying to survive. The good news is we survived. So that is the number one priority. This is not going to be an optimal playthrough. I'm going to make some mistakes, clearly. In a survival situation, you make mistakes because you're not thinking clearly and properly, right? You're under duress, you're freezing to death, or you're getting stabbed or shot by skeletons and what have you. So you make split decisions and sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. You just hope the good outweigh the bad and the bad doesn't kill you. So anyway, so there we go. We got our trees in the ground. They should grow here. We seem to have plenty of space, plenty of light, plenty of warmth. We got the dirt. It's hydrating. Um, yeah, see, we got some growth going on here already. Fantastic. We don't have any bones. Otherwise, I would do some uh, some boning, you know, bone mealing. All right, Nas, we'll see you later. Okay, we got to go. So this uh, jack o' lantern here was is Wilson spelled backwards, Nas Lou, um, and that was uh, that was Tally's friend that got her through her ordeal here, her training. Uh, let's go ahead and put the hoe away. We don't need it where we're going. I want to make sure that we have enough food. I will leave one cake here and then bring another cake just in case we need food. Um, we do have a lot of wheat and stuff, so I could make up a bunch of bread. I don't think we're going to need it. We can't stay out long anyway. We're going to have to come back here after a short trip somewhere. We're going to go back to the intersection and decide where to go. And then, um, yeah, I think we should be able to make it. We can, again, we can always warm up with the furnace and torches and even glowstone if we need to. And hopefully we can find better gear that's warmer. So the higher the armor rating, then the higher, um, the better insulation you have against the cold. And it's a really cool system, and I like the way Vex did it. So hopefully we can we can survive. Let's check out day one. This is Talia Ortega's um, diary, isn't she? Made it to day twenty. I don't know what happened to her after day twenty. I guess we're gonna have to find out when we get that far. But let's uh, let's have a sit down here in the. Pink Sheep Clan bed. Hey, let's read. So we got nine pages here. I, I don't know if I want to read all of this. <laughs> this is a lot of text, but um, we'll get started and see how it goes. I might have to read it off camera on my own and then give you the uh, the synopsis because I don't want to spend 20 minutes reading. But anyway, let's, let's read a page or two. I am so nervous, but also super excited. Triple exclamation marks. This is the first day of my test for my Scout Class Mastery degree. All I have to do is catalog all functions of the old Magitech generator here, while also remembering all of my daily scout tasks. So she was a scout of some kind, and she was down here for training. Oh, I also have to hunt at least 50 monsters of any kind, which means eventually I will need to explore beyond where I teleported into. So yeah, this place is an old Magitech plant used by the miners and researchers. Hmm. According to what the professor told me, this used to be a mining settlement. Scouts, like me, scouts are awesome, <laughs> found a huge deposit of iron ore and teams kept coming in via airship until they had built a little town. I am less clear about the research station. From what I understand, Hain Corporation would get some kind of massive tax write-off, blah, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's where we stop. So read that, pause and read. Looks like they were mining, hit some poison gas, and they were gonna come back because they left. They didn't come back because it didn't make financial sense. And that happened 50 years ago. And now, oh no, see, now she's like, well, there's probably monsters here. <laughs> monsters always move in if people are, uh, aren't around for a while. It's like a law of nature. She's got a little typo there. I guess she was in a rush. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep and do a full survey of the nearby area tomorrow. Oh, also, I raided the storage room and it was mostly empty. Makes sense. Blah, blah, blah. Don't judge. Okay, great. So that is what happened. So that's day one. Doesn't really give us much information. I was hoping these would reveal something to us about what we're up against and what Talia did, and maybe we could follow in, in her footsteps. Let's see day number four. And I might just skip through this real quick. Hold on. Let's see what we got. Oh, gosh. Yeah, 10 pages in this one. <laughs> All right. Well, let's read it uh, off camera, and then I will just, again, go through the pages. You can pause it and read it. And then we'll do a summary at the end.
Okay, I think I got it. So th this is what I was looking for actually. So she goes to the first area, she's calling it the Melting Dead. And apparently there are old ruins here and, um, well, older, more, more modern buildings, like 50 years old ruins and then ancient, ancient, ancient ruins. So very interesting. We're going to be bumping into ancient ruins and not so ancient ruins um, from this mining colony. And who knows what before could be very interesting. All right. Let me just make sure we have everything we need before we head out because it's going to be super cold and super dangerous and all that fun stuff. So let's just make sure we have everything. All right, we're off to see the wizard. Close the door, let the flies out and the heat. <laughs> Ow! Dang ladders, they never work. My hands slipped. It was slippery, it's icy. So yeah, that's the monument we gotta, we gotta fill in. Uh, we have to find some kind of box of parts. And then the box of, all the boxes of parts together will make a spaceship, or well not a spaceship, but some kind of a rocket or a ship or something that we can use to fly out of here and get back home. And, uh, and, that, and I guess we win. <laughs> so here's intersection 01. There's probably gonna be more than one intersection. This is a Vex thing, he likes to do this. And this breaks it up into various parts that we can go off and do individually. And then each one of these individual areas usually houses one of the wool colors or in this case the uh the box of parts so let's go do the melting dead first this is the way talia came so i feel like we should do the same thing and we are getting cold here standing on this ice so yeah see that already already getting cold don't inside dead open this is the melting dead and that is actually from um the walking dead right first episode of the walking dead when rick grimes wakes up in the hospital and there's a um a sign on the door that says just that all right so this is very dark I, I have 51 torches right now we have enough sticks and charcoal to make more although oh wait a minute oh that's gonna melt that's the melty kind yeah water's really cold so we don't want to go in the water yeah this ice right here is the regular ice that will melt so we don't want to we don't want to melt any ice and cause a flood or uh, fall in and freeze that's cool there's a lot of glowstone back there I'd like to get that but this is all regular glass. I don't know if we can. Maybe we can go around. Watch your head. Low ceiling. We gotta work fast here too. That's the thing about this map. You can't really dilly dally. You gotta you gotta move. And this is regular ice here too. I, I kind of want to put torches down, but then again I don't. Let's put one here. I just want to go see. If, oh, we definitely can't get around. So that room is all just uh, solid ice to get to that glowstone probably. Oh, we got some flowing here. We got some water flowing. So, melting dead, huh? I don't like the sound of that. It's gonna be zombies, probably. So, all the natural mob spawns have been disabled. And I think um, anything that any monsters that we get is gonna be kind of a thematic thing. Man, there's a lot of glowstone here. We might want to go collect that. Right now, it's probably not a priority. Because we are freezing. I think we just need to stay on task here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, I hear a zombie! I hear a zombie. Yeah, I just checked my laundry. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. It's behind the closed doors, but there's a dryer going. Oh my gosh, what is that? Looks like an ancient ruin and a zombie. Hello. Holy smokes. Who's fast? Monster Hunter. Slaughtered him. Um, did he seem fast to you? He seemed fast to me. <laughs> what did you do to the zombies, Vex? Oh boy, it figures. So this looks like it might be an old ruin. Oh gosh. Oh, holy smoke. Where the heck did they come from? They fell down from somewhere. So maybe they are spawning up in the top. Oh, man, they're literally falling out of the sky. We got zombies falling out of the sky. Coming down from above. There could be a spawner up there. Cause I don't, like I said, I don't think there's natural spawns going on in this map. I, I mean, it could be wrong. But that dude definitely fell out of the sky. I love that it's snowing here. It's so cool. It's a lovely, lovely effect. Although it is cold. Down to negative 174 already. We, let's get inside here. This looks like it could be one of the ancient structures. This door right there. <laughs> I'm not going to go in that door. Not yet. I'm going to have a walk around and look around first. Because that could be trapped. If I know Vex, then there's going to be booby traps. Most definitely around here somewhere. 
So I'm thinking maybe there's another way in. Or are these actual... We could use cobblestone. I don't trust him though. Oh, that's a fake. Look at that right there. So fake. All right. Well, we can do the fun path and that would be the front door. Let's do it. We're not afraid. We're not afraid of you, Vex. We're going to go right through that front door. This could be very bad decision. This is what I'm talking about with bad decisions. Aha! Nothing. Okay. <laughs> There's definitely a zombie in here. We're gonna throw. I'm gonna throw snowballs at him. Where are you, zombie? Close that door. Zambi, show yourself. There's definitely a zombie in here. All right, well, there's no roof, so we're going to be cold. Still losing temperature. Let's see what we can find. Go through here. I don't know what I'm looking for. Something out of the ordinary. I think a lot of these big blocks of snow could be something. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's wood. Wood, wood, wood. Stairs. Stairs. Yes, stairs going down. That's what we're looking for. Fantastic. So this place looks like it's pretty old and it got snowed in by avalanche or just from snowing over the years. You gotta watch out for these are silverfish. Some of these are silverfish blocks. We definitely don't want to pop a silverfish block. Because then we have to deal with them. But I would like wait, is that let me see. Okay, that's a real one. I would like some cobblestone. We don't have a lot of cobblestone. Oh my gosh, look at all the snowballs. Hi, buddy. Want to play, uh, play a snowball fight? Come on, pick up a snowball. This is so good. Get that one right there. Come on, grab him. This doesn't do a lot of damage, but it sure is fun. <laughs> Knock him back. And I don't need the snowballs. Oh my gosh, look at all the snowballs. Oh, it says, oh, you want to play now? Oh, now you want to play. All right. All right, let's play. Here, I'll, I'll throw at you, and then you throw back at me. But hurry up, because I'm freezing to death. We don't really have time for this. Okay, we definitely don't have time for this. All right, let's just take him out. Is, he is a thawed zombie, and they're dropping leather. Oh, it's clothing scraps. It's uh, dirty and ancient. <laughs> Sweet. I like dirty and ancient. All right, buddy, I know you're down here. There was no zombie down here. There he is. Oh, man, they are fast. Oh, what are they on down here? Yeah, I think Vex sped them up. Negative 275. We don't have much time. Whatever's down here, we need to find it, and we need to get the heck out of here. So let's, uh, I don't like this right here, though. All right, let's have a look around. My guess is it's going to be behind a big snow bomb. Here we go. Looks like we're still going down. Oh, they're burning up there. Sun's up. I think the sun is up. Thank goodness. Okay, we're still going down. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a spotter here, I think. <laughs> oh, ow. Yeah, I don't think there's. I think they are not spawning in naturally. I think. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's having trouble getting up the stairs, and I'm having trouble hitting him. I see the leather. Drop it. Thank you. Oh, no, I want to eat a hard tag ration. All right. Yeah, there's a spotter right there. Um, should we keep the spawner? I don't think so. Well, maybe we could set up a, a, uh, a grinder. Oh, golden apples. Yeah, and get rid of the snowballs. Oh my gosh, there's so many snowballs. Uh, and the rotten flesh. I don't think we're going to need the rotten flesh. All right. So, yeah, I, th I think we'll keep the spawner in case we want to make a grinder out of it. Oh, here we go. Look at all the chests. Holy cow. Oh, another one. Lots of chests. Lots and lots of chests. Oh, yeah, seeds. Very good. So I don't know if there's going to be any... i to get the snow off the top. Um, if the box parts are going to be here, or if this is just, like, fun loot. I'm getting cold just standing on this stuff here. You know, it could just be for looting purposes. <laughs> Zombie flesh. You little... A uh, lot more chest over here. Oh, look at them all. Tons and tons. Let's get another torch up. Uh, gravel and flesh, and oh, we're gonna get the snow off the top. Chain boots. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're only plus one armor. Really? Same as the leather boots. <laughs> yeah, we are freezing here. Fur lion chain armor plus six. Okay, get off that first of all. Let's let's do this. Um, hold on. We gotta get up. Okay, that is a fake. That's a fake. This one's a real. Okay, let's put some glowstone down. I am starting to freeze. Let's open this up and get rid of all the snowballs, first of all. Now, I'm going to check my temperature and see if we're warming up. 
Uh, we are. We are. Very slightly. At least we're not freezing. Yeah, okay, we are, we're not freezing anymore. So now we got a moment to think and go through the inventory and check stuff out. It's cracked stone. Oh, it's cracked stone brick. Yeah, well, we, we can't make anything out of that. We can't make tools out of cracked stone brick, obviously. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just stay here and warm up a bit before we go. There's another chest over there. Oh, there's brick! There's brick! You know what brick means, don't you? Well, I do. In Vex, super hostile maps, brick means that's where there's wool, usually. And in this case, it's not wool. In this case, it's going to be the uh, um, the box of parts, but that's what we're after. Right, I'm going to grab these scraps. I'm not really sure why we want the scraps, but they might be useful. Maybe we can craft them. Here's a fur-lined chain helmet. It's better than normal chain. It's plus three. Oh, yeah! Okay, the armor rating went up. That's fantastic. So right now, yeah, we're gaining um, four per tick. That's fantastic. All right, good. Goody, 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 goody. Let's get rid of the snowballs, and we can get rid of the leather cap. Chain helmet, chain boots. Oh, wait, we never put that thing on, did we? This is plus six. Fur-lined chain armor. Oh. Yeah, let's put it on. So we have one, two, three, four, five and a half armor with that. And yeah, it's definitely better. Oh, fantastic. I feel so cozy. Warm now. So now we are gaining. Wait a minute. We're down. <laughs> What's going on here? It's the same arm. All right. There's something kooky going on. This is plus six armor. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're at five and. There's something wrong with this fur line chain armor. It's not working properly, because watch, when I take this off and put this on. Alright. Five five and a half. Alright, is that right? Alright, while we're waiting to warm up, how about if we do one more science experiment? Let's put down the foinus here. Right there. And get in nice and close. And we are going to smelt one oak log. Actually, you don't even have to smelt it. It will consume the uh, the charcoal to start up the operation, but then you can pull the oak wood right out again. It's kind of an exploit, honestly. <laughs> but that's going to burn for, well, the whole, what is it, like 30 seconds or so? One whole charcoal? Yeah, that's what I should have done. Hi, buddy, we're doing science. Uh, can you come back later? <laughs> this is why you don't want to do science in a survival situation. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Here we go. See, just when I'm doing the science. I'm going to have to do math here, too. But, uh, yeah, let's see how we're doing right now. We're at negative 115 right now. And, oh, wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. What was that, 16, uh, 26? 26? 20, that was 23? 23, standing on top of it. Is that right? I think 23 points standing on top of a furnace. If my math is correct, it's a very good chance that uh, it is not. There are three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. All right, well, that's a nice thing to know. That's good to know. We can stand by this thing and warm up nice, nice. Um, but we got to get out of here. Let's go get our thingamabob and go. Now, normally this is wool. Yeah, this is the thing right here. But in this case, we're looking for spaceship parts, a box of white parts, knockback one? You could use this to build a new airship. If you place it on the ground, it will break and be useless. All right, we'll make sure we don't place it on the ground, because that would be very sad. Um, and then we won't be able to get out of here. <laughs> all right, let's go. I think we got all the treasure, did we not? I think so. We don't need that. We don't need rotten flesh. Oh, what about this tattered uh, clothing scraps? I don't know if we need those. All right, I think I'm going to take my um, take my glowstone back. And uh, is this is that real cobble right there? Uh, I think it is. Now make sure it's not that fake stuff where the little bugs pop out. Oh! Oh, they're slabs anyway. Oh, Vex, you stinker. All right, well, that's too bad. I suppose this is the same thing. Uh, this is Oh, that's fake. Yeah, we, last thing we need is silverfish. Oh, hi, guys. Ooh, what's down there? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, look at all the zombies down there. Can we go down there? 
Yeah. I wonder. It's, it's probably another spawner. Oh, look at this. Holy cow. Look at all the arrows. Two stacks of arrows. Wow. Okay, well, I'll take them. Let's crack stone brick. I'm looking for cobble. Oh, here, hold on. Did we get this guy? Oh, yeah, apparently we did. Let's go see what's down here. Just want to make sure. Oh, that's a fake. Hi, guys. What's up? What's down there? Oh, it's like a secret room. Oh, okay. I wish I had some lava right now. It looks like they are spawning in this dark area from the uh, from the spawner. That was the only logical place they could do it. <laughs> Too bad. Anything else back here? No, I guess that's... I guess, oh, wait. What the heck is this? Chain chest plate. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on a sec. Um... Well, wait a minute. This one's plus six. Wait, our armor went down again. This is so weird. We keep losing armor. Right now it's at five and a half with the fur line chain. But for some reason it dropped back down again. I didn't notice when. Some strange stuff going on here. Some kind of black magic. I think we should just go. Let's just, let's just get out of here. Now I don't have a shovel. And I can't make one because I don't have any... Uh, Cobble. And these zombies are driving me up the wall. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Let us go. I think we're done here anyway. We got what we came for. Wow! <laughs> you ambushed by a thought out zombie. You wanna do something about it? No. Okay, fine. We need the experience anyway. Because we can do some uh, some enchanting when we get back. Back to base. Alright, hold on. Before we go, let's have some tack. Hard tack rations, it is nighttime now, so we must be cautious. And I'm really curious about this um, box of white parts. I want to whack somebody with it and see them go flying. But I don't want to place it down accidentally. <laughs> Vex used to make these signs. I used to call them the bonkers. And they were like, they were actually, uh, they could be used like weapons. They did damage and they would knock zombies back forever. They had like knock back five on them or something. I used to love carrying one around, but sometimes if you place the sign down by accident, uh, well, you'd lose the enchantment. He enchanted it through some kind of magical system. <laughs> Vex magical system. And uh, every once in a while, I'd stick it on the wall and then lose it. Oh, my armor went down again. It's down to four. So let's put the regular chain back in. Hello? Oh, jeez. Where is it coming from? Yeah, they're coming down this waterfall. Hey, look at this guy. He's stuck in the water. We may have to go up there and investigate. Well, we could probably set up a... Uh, ow. We could probably set up a grinder right here, right? Somehow? If we need one? For experience gain? I guess we could do that. Now, how the heck... Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I came in over here. All right. Let's just get back. We'll get this box of parts up on the uh, on the monument. And uh, we'll call it a day. So that's that. Oh, we're so close. Didn't realize how close we were. This is so exciting. Our first wool for the monument. Well, box of parts in this case. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories. Old, nostalgic memories of the old days of Vex Super Hostile. And if you have ever watched my old Vex Super Hostile playthroughs, then you would know what's coming next. We're going to play a little victory horn when I press that button and get this uh, box of part box of white parts on our airship. Let's get our hand out and make it all official like drum roll, please. You have turned in one box of parts. You need a total of eight. There it goes. One poof. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's a hull. It's a ship hull. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. So we need we need seven more. Apparently, there's only eight. Instead of 16. Well, that's good. Because 16 is a lot. 8 is less. And then once we get the next 7, this ship will be complete. And we'll fly right the heck out of here and get back home. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I'm enjoying this map quite a bit. So I'm glad to be back. Whoa, jeez. Slipping inside in here. Let's get inside and let's warm up. And we'll do some more experimentation with this weird armor. <laughs> But I was saying, yeah, I'm glad to be back. It seems like a lot of you have remembered the uh, the old Vex Super Hostile if you're from 
well, that was many, many years ago. Seems like a lot of you guys are um, have been hit with some nostalgia and you're really enjoying it. And for those of you that are new, maybe you might want to go back and watch some of my old stuff like um, Spellbound Caves and uh, Waking Up. And I think Infernal Mines was another one I did. So, yeah, real fun stuff. Let's go ahead and put these seeds down. And that's good. And, uh, yeah, so we will just continue right here in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and get reorganized. We've got a bunch of stuff i got to go through here. And, again, I'm going to do some experimenting with this very strange armor. I think this is cursed. That fur-lined chain armor. And leave it to Vex to curse the armor that you think is better. When in fact, it is not. It's par for the course with that Vex fella. Um, all right, so that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.